I'm Brian Wenzel. I'm Senior Chief Hospital Corpsman. And I'm stationed at Marine Corps Security Force Regiment in Norfolk, Virginia. My primary responsibilities are the um, the healthcare and, and deployability of uh, our, our FAST Marines, which is the, the fleet anti-terrorism security teams. I often, you know, I've been asked to speak at, at a number of AA meetings, and I usually start with, uh, I think that I've been an alcoholic my whole life. I thought that's what you were supposed to do, is you went out with your buddies and you found the first bar you could, and, and oftentimes you were carried out of that bar, and that was a successful night. We talk about that everybody has a, a different rock bottom, you know, and it came to a point where I found mine. And the final straw was, um, was yelling at my, my ex-wife uh, um, and seeing my daughter put her hands over her ears and begging us to stop. I realized that, you know what, if I kept drinking the way I, I do, um, something bad is going to happen. You know, I'm either going to get a DUI or I'm going to get an accident, I'm going to hurt somebody. Um, you know, take the life of somebody else, which I, I couldn't, I just couldn't, you know, fathom that happening. I told my, um, my doctor that I needed to go to treatment now. Um, the next thing I did is I drove to my headquarters and uh, I walked into my sergeant major's office and uh, I was already teary-eyed. I was, I was getting ready to let go of everything. And um, he got up and closed the door and he sat me down and he said, Doc, what's wrong? And I just... I let it out, I cried like a baby, and I said, Sergeant Major, I gotta go get help. And it was, it shocked me that uh, my Sergeant Major got up and walked from around his desk and gave me this huge hug and said, Doc, you're, you're gonna be okay. You know, we'll be here, don't worry about the job. You know, go get better, and, and when you come back, you come back. You know, it was living in that fear that my career is gonna come to an end. And my advice to any sailor is, which one is worse? You referring yourself to get help or you getting an alcohol-related incident, getting a DUI, killing somebody, or, or, or worse, your life comes to an end. One of the things I felt most important was honesty. And I had told him about um, a specific incident that was kind of going on in my life at that time and told him, you know, I've been honest with you and that's, that's all that I ask from you is that you be open and honest with me because I don't have the time or the energy to deal with somebody that's not honest. And that was the first time he opened up and told me about his issue with alcohol and um, that he was in recovery and in, had only been in recovery for a couple of months. June uh, 23rd of this year, I celebrated two years. Um, so it's, uh, if, if you really count, it's 25 months um, that I've been sober. And uh, you know, I'm living a new life with a lot of the pieces of my old life still in place that I really could have could have lost. And, and most importantly is that I have uh, a better relationship today with my kids than I ever have. We are both very big family people and we love being around our children. Um, time is just much more precious to me now. Um, you know, I didn't lose family and friends out of it. We worked really hard for where we're at and, and why you know, why would you risk losing that? I, it doesn't make any sense to me now, you know, looking, looking back on it that, uh, you know, what it takes to get advanced to the Navy advancement system, what it takes to be selected by a board of your peers. Losing your rank means losing respect, losing a place of authority, um, losing any sort of connection that you may have had with some of your, your troops. Um, it's, it's always important to keep what you've earned to continue to grow and to progress and to never regress. To become a senior chief, you know, my hopes and, and dreams, um, goals to, to someday maybe become a master chief. And if, you know, if I'm blessed to, to be put in that position, then um, I think it gives you an even bigger platform to talk about keeping what you've earned. You don't get there by making stupid decisions. You don't get there by being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, don't be in that place. Knowing that everything I do in my life today, um, how it revolves around my sobriety, but, but more importantly, how my sobriety lends to having a, a better relationship with my children. I've been given these opportunities back and I make good on them every chance that I, that I can. My free time is spending time with my children, um, but I do enjoy the game of golf. You know, you don't have there aren't people screaming at you from the dugout. Uh, it's just you and that little white ball and, and nature and trying to figure out how to make those things work together. Um, you know, it's tough getting that ball to do what you tell it to do.
things are so good today. Why would I want the, that to be, why would I want even one little piece of that to be threatened by taking one drink? I know that I have an incredible support network. Everywhere I turn, there's somebody that believes in me and somebody that supports me. Uh, everything, everything is better to this day. And, and I can't say that enough, that how, how much better my life is and living it sober. I don't, I don't want to do anything else.